everyone, Steve here from SJ Woodworks. Um, we've got a spindle project today, and uh, the trick about today is we're actually going to do most of our turning without using carbide tools. In fact, uh, the traditional tool that we're going to try and do most of this with today is a uh, heavy parting tool. So this ought to be interesting. We will use a carbide tool to rough this out and make it round, but then we're going to try and do the rest of it with this parting tool. So stay tuned, and we'll talk about what this is once we get this spindle on the lathe. Okay, I've got a little story to tell you here. So what we have here is a two by two piece of just black walnut. It's about 10 inches long. And um, the reason why we have this, so a long time ago, about six months ago, my sister asked me to uh, make something for her on the lathe. And as things go, you know, things got in the way and I still haven't gotten around to it. So today we're gonna do it. What she's asked for is called a ribbon bobbin. Uh, basically, she's got a bunch of craft ribbon that she wants a place to to store it, and right now it's just wrapped around, you know, dowels or whatever she's got, and uh, she wants me to make her something with several different compartments of different sizes that she can wrap some ribbon around and store it. So I thought I'd make it out of black walnut, and I'll make a few of these for her. I think she's got a lot of uh, ribbon to store, but um, so what we're going to do is round this out and then uh, measure out exactly what I've got planned. I've got a template that I've drawn uh, for how I think it should work, and um, and then we'll try and get it uh, all shaped out in a way that she can keep ribbons on it. I'm, I'm kind of designing this in my head here. I haven't actually seen one of these, so we're making this up as we go along. But I've chucked this up. Basically, I put one end of it into the two-inch jaws of my chuck. The other end just has the uh, tailstock drawn up here. Um, this is about the biggest square stock that can fit in my two-inch jaws here, and that's, that's how it's designed. So I've got it chucked in there nice and tight. We're going to use about eight inches, maybe seven and three-quarter inches or so of this on the template that I have so it doesn't get too long for uh, her storage bags, for her crafting stuff. Um, so let me grab my carbide roughing tool and we're going to rough this out to round and then we'll go from there. As always before we get started, please follow all the safety guidelines in your shop equipment and if I'm doing anything that you don't think is safe then you shouldn't do it. Um, and just take responsibility for your own safety in your shop. Okay, I've done a little planning ahead of time here, and I have a template drawn for how I want this to go. Um, basically, I've just kind of found a light spot on the wood where I think I'm going to be able to see these pencil marks at first, because I'm using black walnut, of course. And uh, I've just drawn some lines here where I think we should have some high spots and low spots on this spindle. It's hard to read a picture, I know, without seeing an example of what I think this is going to look like, but basically it's going to be, you know, about one inch diameter cylinders, uh, little sections of this cylinder, they're going to be divided by, you know, thicker dividers. So let's draw these lines out and see what we got. Okay, now, I've gone ahead and, and cut all these out. We're going to have a lot of sanding to do. This wood's a little bit wet, and it's cut kind of rough, uh, the parting tool has on the spindle here, but um, I want to roll these dividers into beads. And uh, something that maybe a lot of people don't know, with the parting tool, given a lot of space like this, you can actually roll a pretty nice bead. So we're going to give it a shot uh, with this parting tool. In fact, I still need to kind of cut the ends down to the right spot. But we're going to roll a couple of beads here and see what happens. And 
You might ask the question, is, are there other ways that we could roll this bead without using a parting tool? And the answer is of course. Um, but I just wanted to do this whole project with a parting tool. Um, kind of just to show that it can be done. Of course there are lots of ways to do everything. You could use a spindle gouge, uh, you could use a skew chisel, but uh, when you've got enough space, a parting tool does pretty well to, uh, to roll a bead over here. Find your bevel, wait till it cuts, roll it over. Bring your tool handle up and around to get that corner. Had a little catch there, wasn't paying attention. Okay, I've sanded everything up to 400 grit. It actually sanded out really nicely, so I think it's going to turn out okay. And I'm going to use my narrow parting tool now to actually part this off. Okay, we've got it off. Just got a little nub here on each side. I'll take it to the sanding disc to get rid of that, and then we'll do a finish. Okay, we're in my tiny work area here. We're going to use a Danish oil finish on this, a couple of coats of that to give it a nice, hard, durable finish. Uh, remember, it's just going to store ribbon, so once this Danish oil is nice and dry, it'll be uh, easy to handle and it'll be durable. So let's just put a coat of that on and see how this stuff looks. Just using a paper towel. Whoops, I'll have to clean up a little later. Okay, it looks great. Uh, we'll do another coat of finish of this uh, later, but I think for now we'll We'll call this uh, finished for this video. Uh, thanks for spending your time with me, and I hope that my sister gets a lot of good use out of this ribbon bobbin. So we're done here. Thanks everyone for joining me today for SJ Woodworks. And uh, if you ever need to make a ribbon bobbin, you know, customize it to your ribbon, I'm going to send a picture of this to my sister and see uh, if she approves of this design before I make a couple more for her. But um, I think it looks pretty good. You know, out of black walnut and a coat of Danish oil on here looks good. I'll do another coat later. But, uh, and those of you who saw me spill some Danish oil during this finish, then you know, now my workbench has got another coat of Danish oil on it as well, so, you know, it doesn't hurt. Um, so if you like this video, please like and subscribe, and, and feel free to comment anything you want on this video, and I'll, I'll respond and I'll appreciate it. I want to thank everybody who has subscribed so far. Uh, it, it's great to uh, have an audience for some of my work here. So, thanks everyone, and we'll see you next time.